boy, Stupid Stick, and I took to social media and I asked you guys to ask me questions. So, I opened it up and I got 23 questions here. I'm going to try to blow through them, so I'm apologizing in advance if I go too fast. But, I got 23 questions and I don't want to drag on my video and bring it on and 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 so forth. So, I'm going to try to keep it brief. And we are here at the top. Alrighty guys. We'll just jump right into it. My very first question. What are your top three animes? And I'm just going to name them. I don't even want to think about it. Because there's, there's so many great decisions out there. But Dragon Ball. I'm going to count Dragon Ball as Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. And Dragon Ball Super. Count as one. Uh, I'm going to go... Attack on Titan number two and My Hero Academia number three. I love it. Great. Check those out if you haven't. Huh. Okay. Another number two. Would you gender bend a cosplay and who? Well, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I would definitely gender blend a cosplay. And who? A male Froppy would be totally awesome. Come on, don't uh, don't lie. If you don't know who Froppy is, check it out and then imagine it as a dude. It'd be totally great. Do you believe in extraterrestrial aliens? Yes. Yes, I do. To think we're the only intelligent life out there? There's, that's crazy. That's far-fetched. What do you look forward to in 2020? Well, I look forward to growing with my channel. I look forward to the birth of my new child. I got a lot of things going on in 2020. Hopefully, I can keep up my current rate and I can grow, keep growing. That's what I really look forward to. I look forward to growing and putting out better content for you guys. I enjoy this. It's a great. I, it's, I love it. Great time. Good times. What if any conspiracy? Conspiracy theories do you like or think about? Well, I mean, the 9-11 ones, I mean, those are fun. And I like to, uh, the, uh, the, the Bermuda Triangle. I like how the, all the, the disappearances and stuff happens like that. That's pretty cool. I like to check those out. What are some fan theories from MCU or any other universe do you think they are introducing? Well, an MCU, they kind of teased it in Endgame. Spoilers, by the way. I mean, if you haven't seen it by now, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Endgame, they, there's a scene in the end battle where all the chicks are battling out. All the badass women. I'm like, female Avengers. I don't exactly remember what it's called, but it's something along those lines. So, I hope they're introducing that. I will totally check it out. Plus, I love Michelle. She's such a badass. If you could make a fan film with any character, which characters and what would it be about? Well, I would totally, totally do a Rick and Morty. Because Rick and Morty, you can do anything, go anywhere. And what it would be about is, in the, in the second season, spoiler again, Squanchy goes berserk mode and we never see him again. So, I would have Rick and Morty assemble a team of... Like Mr. Poopy Butthole and a, like a, a Meeseeks box. And then go on a quest to find Squanchy. Because I miss Squanchy. That's what I totally do. Fuck yeah. How many more outfits do you think you will have before this year ends? I guarantee three. Three for sure. That I'm going to be working on very soon. What character will be your most iconic this year? Well, it's hard to say, but I can tell you what my most iconic is now, in my opinion, is my great corn horlo. For I am the great corn horlo, and he's tippy for me bunghole. I mean, I love him. I'm spot on. It's fun. He's fun to act out. So I say that would be my most iconic. Would you consider adding Deadpool and Negan's jacket and the lovely Lucille? And if so... What would be something you would say? Well, that would be totally sick. But I would throw the jacket over. And then instead of swords, I would have dueling Lucille's. I would have Lucille, and I can't believe it's not Lucille. <laughs> and I'd be like, little pig, little pig. Give me your chimichangas. Half your chimichangas belong to Negan Pool now. 
I don't know. On the spot, thinking. It wasn't a well thought out, don't judge. How do you stay cool in full body costumes and other tips in full body costumes? Okay, well, they're, they're going to be uncomfortable. Especially in Texas heat. And my Deadpool costume is solid leather. So it is really, really hot. Especially in the sun. So I, I suggest drinking water. Like, lots of fluids. The night before, like, I, if I know I'm going to con, I drink lots of fluids. Because I'm going to be up, down, all around. Especially if I'm Deadpool in the full body suit. Um, I take my mask off. A lot because it's harder to breathe with your mask on, you know. So I have my. That's where most of your heat stays trapped in your head too. So I don't wear my mask as often. Only when I'm going in to do things and uh, take pictures or something like that, I'll have my mask on. But I recommend water. Uh, br take breathe as much as you can. Stay in the shade. Oh, d uh, do not go outside if you don't have to. Cause it is miserable in a full body suit. Sometimes mine has little tears on like some places from where I've been moving and stuff, and I haven't repaired yet strictly because I get a little tiny bit of airflow. I do recommend, and like if you're in a suit like me, I, wear, I have to wear an undershirt or I'll be dripping sweat. It's gross. And deodorant. Deodorant is a must for a body suit because you're gonna sweat and you don't want to stink, especially if you're meeting celebrities. Alrighty. How do you balance work, life, YouTube? Uh, well, I mean, if I, I, the best way to put it is if, if you like something, you enjoy something, you will make time for it. So if it's important to you, you will make time for it. Of course, right now where I'm at, I would love to say, oh yeah, I'm going to be a full-time YouTuber. But right now, at my current status, I have, work comes first to provide for my family. YouTube is my hobby. So... I, uh, of course, work prioritizes, but I try to put as much time as I can into my channel because I really love and enjoy doing this. But, yeah, it's tough. I mean, life gets in the way. Life happens, you know? So, that's why some of my videos, I, you see a little gap and stuff, but I'm always going to be going and I'm not stopping until I'm at the top. That's just how I am. I might never make it, but I'm going to try. You don't know unless you don't try. Which is your favorite character out of all the ones you've dressed as and one you want to try out soon? Well, I, I, like, oh, this is another hard one. Because I love my Deadpool. And I love my Great Cornholio. But I, I love my Shaggy. I've, I've done so many characters and they're all... I, I always pick more upbeat characters. They're fun to play. I, for I can get really into it. I gotta say Deadpool, man, because, I mean, Deadpool is just awesome, you can, I mean, Deadpool, he's Deadpool, you can do or say anything, and they're like, huh, it's Deadpool, and it makes sense, because it's Deadpool, it's great. How'd you come up with your name? Well, back in the day, I used to watch Jackass, but Jackasses are my idols, I mean, Steve-O is my number one, and his name is not Steve-O, so that's not his real name, that's his like little stage name, so I was like, I need one of these, because I'm going to be out there, I'm going to be doing stunts, and my childhood nickname was Stick, so uh, there's this show back in the 90s called Stick Stickly, and my uncle used to call me Stick Stickly, which it evolved to Stick, and then... Everybody used to be like, man, you're stupid. You're stupid for doing stunts like that. You're stupid. And I was like, and somebody said, man, you're stupid, Stick. One of my cousins did. And I was like, that is it. Stupid Stick. It sounds perfect. And it stuck ever since then. And I just like the name. It's been my gamer tag for many years. That's just my name. It just sticks. I like it. Stupid Stick. That's me. It's your boy. <laughs> What's your next cosplay? Honestly, I, I kind of don't share cosplays because I never know when I'm going to spontaneously want to join a competition. And I'm a very big competitor on that thing. But, I will say, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. I'm excited about it. i just actually been working on it today and looking at some things I'm going to have to buy, of course. And I might have to make a few things here and there. But I'm going to work on Fat Gum from My Hero Academia. 
I'm going to, I'm not, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to be a variation. It's going to be really, I think I'm going to pull it off really well. Um, number 16, do you plan on doing any Deadpool crossovers? Well, I mean, if I was to do the Negan jacket thing, that would probably be about all I would ever do. Um, actually, now that I do think about it, i got an event coming up, and I might be doing a variation, like a comic variation, just for funny. Because it's like, why would Deadpool be here at this kind of convention? And then I'm here in disguise. So I'm going to do something like that. Hopefully. If I do end up going to this event. Which I should. Because, you know. But then again, life. You know, you never know. Any cons you plan on going to? Well, for sure, it's set in stone. I already know 120%. I'm going to the Corpus Christi Comic Con. Which is a three day event. And I'm very excited about that. And I'm looking forward to RealmsCon again. That's I love both those events so much. Sadly, I will have to miss a couple this year, like in prime time, because due to my fiance not being able to travel. Uh, so we'll have to miss a few cons this year. But I guarantee you, I will have two of them. The Corpus Christi's are my bread and butter. It's where I started it. And that's where I'll always be until they kick me out. <laughs> so, I love them. If you're in the Corpus Christi area, please go to the Corpus Christi Realms Con. And please go to Corpus Christi Comic Con. They're some of the nicest and coolest people you'll ever meet. So be sure to check those out. What are some voices you do? And, well, I mean, I tend to do voices of my characters. Of course... Y'all knew, no I do. For I am the Greek and Holy Honey Tibby for me bongo. See, I can't even help it. My fuck, my hands just go up when I do that voice. And I'm like, what's the witch, dude? Yeah, really? That was, that was bad. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't planning on doing voices. I gotta be in the zone. But, that's eh, just a few. I won't, I won't reveal all my secret weapons just yet. What are some con tips for the newbies? Well, like I was saying with the full body suit, it all goes back to staying hydrated. So lots of water. Bring cash because ATM fees will just... Ugh, really hard in the face. Right in the gut. You'll, I mean, so I've seen some $5 to pull out $20. Just bring some cash. Um, stay hydrated. Uh, uh, cosplay is not consent. My very first time I really cosplayed as Deadpool, I was in a spandex suit. And so many people just kept grabbing my butt. I mean, of course, me, I don't mind because, you know, I am Deadpool in my mind at that time. But other people do. So please remember, cosplay is not consent. Always ask to take a picture. Always ask to do a video. It's just common courtesy. Out of all the celebs that you have met, who would be one you want to meet again? I'll give you. I'll give you at least four or five off the top of my head. I want to meet, re meet Josh Grell, the voice of Armin from Attack on Titan. He was like the first celeb I actually ever really met. And talk to and stuff. He was the coolest dude ever. So just strictly because of that, um, I would Cal Mitchell. That that is an amazing human being right there. Um, Bulk and Skull. I know these aren't their real names, except for Cal and Josh. But uh, I'm I'm just I'm trying to be in a hurry. I don't have time to think of their real name. Sorry. I love you guys though, and I want to make Manu Bennett. Manu Bennett. Again, he is a really cool guy, too. Um, what celebs do you want to really meet? Uh, well, I want to meet the voice of Vegeta, Chris Sambat, Sambat, and I'm probably butchering names. I'm bad at names, but I want to meet the voice of Vegeta, voice of Goku, Amy Jo Johnson, and, uh, oh, 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 David Yost, Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost. Those are some I would love to end.
my fellow Stickamaniacs. Are you ready for the apocalypse? Food, water, etc. What about zombies? Well, I'm pretty set. I, I live on a ranch and I'm food, water, shelter, we're pretty much good on that. So, what about zombies? It, well, it, honestly, it depends. Are we talking like Walking Dead, Resident Evil, World War Z? So it really depends if we'd be able to combat them or we would have to pretty much hide until we could figure out a way to trap or something. So we'd have to know what we are dealing with. So, I mean... Zombies, I'm just going to assume they're walking dead, and I'm going to lasill the shit out of them. Because it'd be pretty cool. Where would you like to see yourself in 10 years, goals, and plans to get there? Well, that's a big final question. Well, where would I like to see myself in 10 years? Oh, let's, get, let's get emotional for a minute. I'd like to see myself still YouTubing. I would like to, 10 years from now, ain't no reason I can't get 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> I mean, going at my current rate, 5,000 is looking great <laughs> in about 10 years. So that'd be cool. Um, I, I, I'd like to see my channel grow. That's all. I just do it for fun and hope I entertain. Goals. Oh, well, for strictly this year, my big goal is to get to the big 1,000 subscribers and to keep putting out high-quality content and keep keep on keeping on, you know? Um, plans to get there. I don't really... I kind of just wing at a lot of stuff I do. So maybe if I would, was to get plans, I might do better so I might have to work on the plans to get there because right now I'm just going with the flow I'm just doing whatever I can <laughs> but yeah that would be pretty cool all right guys well this is uh 23 questions for stupid stick I guess I don't know that's something I'll come up with a zany title for you guys um, yeah, I'll, I'll have a link to my Instagram if there's something I didn't get to maybe we can do a part two just feel free to inbox me and I'll just pop pop them in there. Um, we'll do a part two if you really like this and want to find out more about me. Um, but yeah, guys, please follow me on social medias. Um, I'm Stupid Stick, and I'm out. Thank you for the questions. I really appreciate you guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Remember, guys, never give up on yourself. All things are possible, and I'm out. Peace!